my name is Claire Sullivan and I work for Oregon State University. I'm the Small Farms and Specialty Crops Extension Agent for Central Oregon. Today we are at Windflower Farm in Alfalfa and we're standing um, at a berry research trial that I have going on. This is a research project that was funded by Western SARE, Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education, and it is a professional plus producer grant. And so this is the site that has the replicated research trial. And then I'm working with six other farmers in the region who have a version of this trial on their farm. So today I'm just providing a brief um, sort of highlight of what we're seeing this year in 2020. Um, this project was started in 2019. And so just second year, I would normally have folks come out here for a field day. That's not possible this year. So here's just a brief update of what we're seeing. So these, what we're standing in right now is a strawberry patch. And these are day neutral strawberries. They were planted last May, 2019. And there's four different varieties of strawberries. We have Seascape, Albion, EV2, and Mara de Bois. And um, this trial, we're looking at how those four varieties do outdoors and then versus inside in the high tunnel. So some things that we're seeing this year, a lot of the berries, um, they did overwinter pretty well. We, did, we had damage last year and we lost some plants, but um, not due to winter conditions. So they came out of winter pretty well. They definitely put on growth earlier than, when, than last year and uh, they also started fruiting earlier this year so we were picking fruit starting um, in early July this year and so far it looks like Mara de Bois which is um, is produced has started producing the earliest and has been producing the most berries it's also a small berry though so it's producing a lot of berries but they're small and Albion um, we, what we've seen this year is probably the latest maturing variety of these four. Um, and when I say we started picking fruit in early July, that was actually the berries in the high tunnel. Outside, we, we only have been picking for a few weeks now. And we're mid-August right at the moment. Um, a few things that we've seen this year. So we, we did have some disease incidents last year of uh, verticillium wilts and another um, disease that they're looking into. And we have both of those back again this year. So we have lost some plants to that. This year, what's been different also, we've had quite a bit more bird damage. So last year, birds were not an issue. This year, you can see we haven't netted them. Um, and that would, is probably what really needs to happen because robins and quail are pretty excited about these berries and they're taking a toll on them. Um, I think that's where I'll just leave it for today of what the highlights that we're doing, but I have a written report of what we found last year, including um, because we look at yield of the berries, the timing they come on, how long the season lasts, and then we're also assessing berry quality. So how nice does the fruit look? Also, how good does it taste? So last year we had taste testings both with farmers, consumers, and uh, buyers. And so we can share that information. And if you're interested, just get in touch with me. And at the end of this season, this is a two-year project, we will be writing a larger report about the whole two-year project and what we've seen that will include all the parameters that we measured on these berries. So thanks for your attention and feel free to be in touch with any questions.